Embryologists and scientists have been making incredible discoveries in recent years, especially regarding the potential future of medical technology. And although human embryos are among the focus of some of the research, they are not alone. Pig and even mice embryos have been studied in conjunction with life-saving methods such as organ transplants and disease treatment. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three examples of experiments and discoveries that have thrust the field of embryology into the future. Girl is born in Tennessee from embryo frozen for 27 years. It is not every day that a baby sets records just for being born, but that is exactly what happened in the incredible case of Molly Gibson. Molly Gibson was born in late October 2020 to parents Tina and Ben Gibson, who had undergone vitro fertilization in an effort to get pregnant. The Gibsons used the National Embryo Donation Center in Knoxville, Tennessee, to adopt an embryo that had been donated to the organization and frozen for parents looking for alternative ways to conceive. The embryo would then be implanted into the prospective mother's uterus, which would act as a surrogate womb for the developing fetus. What was special about the case of Molly Gibson is that her embryo was frozen by the National Embryo Donation Center in October of 1992, almost exactly 27 years before she was born, making her the longest frozen embryo to undergo a successful birth. What is even more amazing is that the previous record holder for the longest successfully frozen embryo was held by Molly's older biological and adoptive sister, Emma Gibson. Emma was born in 2017 and came from the same batch of embryos that was frozen from an anonymous donation in 1992, meaning that Molly and Emma are biologically full siblings, not just because they were birthed from the same mother. If the embryos had been implanted and developed instead of frozen in 1992, the girls would only be two years younger than their mother, putting into perspective just how long the batch had been frozen. Tina Gibson reported in an interview with CNN that with Emma, we were just so smitten to have a baby. With Molly, we are the same way. It is just kind of funny, here we go again with another world record. And these world records are especially important for the knowledge that they can provide the scientific community about the success of technologies behind freezing embryos, their long-term viability, and whether they should be thrown out after having been frozen for a certain period of time. However, although Molly and Emma's stories are incredibly hopeful, successful births from implanting frozen embryos are not guaranteed. The embryos must first be thawed out and then surgically transferred and implanted into the mother's uterus, and only about 75% of embryos undergoing the thawing and transfer process survive, while only 25-30% to of the surviving implanted embryos result in a successful pregnancy. However, because of this already relatively low success rate, many naturally assumed that older embryos would be less viable and should therefore be thrown out. But the beautiful stories of Emma and Molly Gibson have shown the scientific community that age may be less of a factor in viability than at first thought, and that the technology that was developed decades ago to freeze embryos appears to be successful, especially long term. Carol Sommerfeldt, who is the lab director and embryologist at the National Embryo Donation Center, spoke on Molly's shattered record, saying that this definitely reflects on the technology used all those years ago and its ability to preserve the embryos for future use under an indefinite time frame. Many others agree with her optimism, for although there are still many unknowns surrounding the question of embryo preservation, the Gibson girls are a positive benchmark for future successes. human-pig hybrid created in the lab. Sometimes scientific advances can greatly resemble the plot of a sci-fi novel, as is the case with the successful creation of human-animal hybrids, which was done with the hopes of creating a way to regrow human organs for life-saving transplants. A team of researchers from all over the world, led by the Salk Institute, has advanced one step closer to achieving that goal as they have created what is known as a chimera which is a viable organism that contains cells from two different and distinct species. In this case, those species are human and pig. And although public opinion is greatly against the idea of man-made life, so much so that public funding and grants were totally withheld from the project, which relied entirely on private donations, 
The researchers working with the Salk Institute hope to address a medical need through their experiments and decrease the number of deaths due to the lack of available organ transplants. Currently, a person is added to the National Organ Transplant waitlist every 10 minutes, and every hour, somebody on that list will pass away because they were not able to receive the organ that would have saved their life. The development of a system for readily available lab-grown organs could potentially save thousands of lives every year and totally change the way organ transplants are carried out. The researchers believe that the creation of a human chimera could be a safeguard for humans rather than the Frankenstein's monster that many imagine when they think of these experiments. Previously, experiments had been successfully performed by creating a chimera formed by injecting a mouse with stem cells from a rat, and it was this body of research that the scientists looked towards as they embarked on their own experiments. It was found in the initial experiments with rats and mice that when the genes for certain organs were deleted in the mice, and the rat stem cells for those organs were introduced back into the mice, the organs were able to flourish and grow. The Salk researchers then applied these principles to pigs who have surprisingly similar organ structures to humans. Through a considerable amount of trial and error, they found that injecting a pig embryo with human stem cells that had already differentiated slightly appeared to allow the pig embryo to continue to develop. The embryos were then implanted and allowed to develop in utero before they were removed again and studied. They discovered that human cells were indeed present, although in low percentages that appeared to slow the development of the embryos. However, this resulting chimera was a scientific breakthrough nonetheless. The high percentage of pig cells remaining means that a human would likely reject the organs in a transplant, but after overcoming some of the larger hurdles preventing the human cells from proliferating, scientists believe that they could be on the verge of a breakthrough for life-saving organ transplants. Part Human Mouse Embryo Pigs are not the only animals to be a part of the human chimera experiments. In fact, within the past year, scientists created a mouse embryo made up of 4% human cells, marking it as the organism with the highest number of human cells ever recorded, which has enormous implications for stem cell and disease research. Because of a mouse's short gestation and developmental period, this creates the potential for an incredibly large number of mature human cells to be grown in a relatively short period of time. The mice were injected with around a dozen human stem cells, which took fewer than three weeks to proliferate into millions of mature human cells, including red blood cells, which would take around eight weeks to generate in a standard developing human fetus. Jian Feng, who contributed to and co-authored the studies, said that these observations suggest that the mechanism that specifies time in development can be changed. With this implication, there will be more dramatic discoveries down the road. And it certainly seems that will be the case, although experiments of this nature always raise moral and ethical dilemmas, and scientists must navigate incredibly carefully to ensure that all risks and dangers are thoroughly explored and dealt with before proceeding. However, risks aside, the implications of the benefits of these experiments cannot be denied. Scientists avoided the possibility of the mice's embryonic rejection of human stem cells by slightly altering the cells to make them more compatible with the mice's gestational development, specifically an inner group of cells present in the early stages of a mouse embryo before any other cells have been differentiated. This technology alone can be applied on a much larger scale to create mice whose cells have a greater similarity to our own, making them much better models for the study of diseases and their treatment. They can also be used to quickly generate a wide variety of human cells for studies such as red blood cells, human eye cells, immune cells and respiratory cells. The results of these experiments have made scientists very hopeful for what this could mean for future research, as well as for the treatment and study of diseases that were previously not understood. But what do you make of these interesting experiments? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.